If you're interested in aviation or like listening to in-flight ATC communications, you've likely heard of squawk codes. These are four-digit codes given by ATC to all aircraft in the airspace for communication purposes. Today, let's take a look at their usage and the meaning of various codes. The primary goal of a squawk code is to provide effective communication between the ATC and the aircraft. Prior to departure, aircraft will be given squawk codes, which will be used by ATC to direct the aircraft during its flight. This code will show up on ATC screens and helps provide basic information such as speed and altitude. Squawk codes are four digits, with each being given a number between 0 and 7. This gives thousands of possible combinations for air traffic control to give to aircraft. Pilots must enter squawk codes into their transponder to communicate with flight controllers. Only if the correct squawk code is entered into the transponder will it appear on ATC screens with the correct information. The transponder is constantly communicating with the ground and providing pings with this information. At times, aircraft might be asked to change their squawk codes once airborne. This might be to better communicate with other towers or perhaps required if entering restricted airspace. This means a flight might have multiple squawk codes depending on where it is flying and on what path. These four-digit codes are very important to ensure aircraft separation, especially during the takeoff and landing phases of a given flight. Air traffic control uses them to monitor aircraft positions on information screens, ensuring that they do not break minimum separation while flying. Having the transponder off or inputting incorrect squawk codes has the potential to result in a safety threat and security situation. Perhaps the most publicly known squawk codes are those used for emergency conditions. These three ICAO assigned squawk codes can be used by any aircraft with a transponder to quickly explain their emergency to flight controllers. The first emergency code is Squawk 7500, used to indicate that the aircraft has been hijacked and requires emergency support from security services and air traffic control. The second is Squawk 7600, which is used to communicate to air traffic control that the aircraft in question has lost communications with the tower. In the case that contact cannot be established, planes will be directed using aviation light signals which are used to provide aircraft with clearance to land or to indicate unsafe conditions in case radio contact fails. The third emergency code is Squawk 7700. This code is used to communicate all emergencies on board a flight and is perhaps the best known example. When Squawk 7700 is declared, all nearby ATCs are also informed of the emergency and pilots can fly the plane as is necessary for the situation. As you can see, squawk codes serve an important purpose in ensuring communication and safety between the ground and aircraft. Did you know about the presence and use of squawk codes? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.